edition of Greedy Girl Adventures. So look at my backseat rider. Car, car. Hey, baby. He too busy looking at, out the window. Going to a Greedy Girls event today um, at the Candler Hotel, the By George restaurant. We're going to brunch. This time, Amber and I are bringing our booze, okay? So I'm bringing babe, and she's bringing her man, and I'm dropping car car off at his grandma's house for a couple hours because he hasn't been over there in like two weeks. And she wanted to see him anyway, so let him come over for a couple hours while we go to brunch. So I got up, it is 10. I've been up, well, Carson have us up anyway, but I got up, I started getting ready at nine because I'm like, okay, let me start getting ready, take Carson <laughs> to his grandma's house. And while I'm gone, my husband can get dressed because he, I, I gave him a time. I'm going to be back at this time. I need you to be ready when I get back. So he's at home getting dressed. I'm dropping car off. I'm already dressed. You really can't see, but makeup done, hair still twisted up. I'll take it down right before it's time to go. But that's what we doing on this Saturday morning. So stay tuned. Welcome to the heart of Atlanta, Georgia, where history and hospitality converge at the Candler Hotel. So this is the By George restaurant that is located inside the Candler Hotel and it has a spooky little secret in the basement, but I'll get to that. So the Candler Hotel is located on Peachtree Street and it has a rich history dating back to the 20th century. It was originally built in 1906 by Asa Candler, who is the visionary behind Coca-Cola. Before we get into it, let's catch up with friends. We are here at the hotel. Right, ready for brunch. Oh yeah, I gotta get pictures over oh, there. Yeah. We brought the guys with us today and y'all know they wanna cut up. <laughs> Hello. You stay so Baby. Hello, oh. my love. Yeah. If you want, it's gonna be on YouTube. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we're here at you the do I'm a greedy boy today. <laughs> no, boy you're supposed to be your down. regular self. People don't yeah. like that fake yeah. You're just supposed to be yourself. Nah, you gotta, and like, either you. either they like it or they don't. What's up, guys? <laughs> we're here at <laughs> <My> George. <laughs> Stop, babe. Here no. Y'all tell them that y'all do not like that fake <laughs> Leave a comment if you do not like that fake <laughs> Yeah, hit the link in the bio. Ain't that what y'all going to say? Subscribe, like, and comment. We y'all need to get it right. Not what? Oh, we don't. We gonna have to bleep that out. We just you got a secret. No, no, no. Your face is gonna be there, but the words will not. And all this is going in. This is my guess. These are Tiffany's chandeliers, okay? Tiffany, Tiffany's glass and Italian carvings, honey, okay? It's historic. Okay, so the last bit of the tour, I'm going to show you this top secret safe. This building actually used to be a SunTrust bank and it was reinvented into this hotel, right? You can actually book this room and have a private dinner. This is the safe where they kept the Coca-Cola recipe. The original recipe was locked down in this room. So many bars and locks. This is like Fort Knox, honey. You cannot get in here. If you wanna check it out yourself, Book that private room at the Candler Hotel. Check it out. It's actually pretty cool and it's very historic. Every time y'all see me, I'm always in my bedroom because I'm always getting ready. Getting ready to go meet Amber. We have another Greedy Girl opportunity with Elaine Sterling Institute. So we are going to go get facials. We're going to get our nails done. We're going to get some pedicures. And we going to blog about it. So, yes. I just straightened my hair. I had been wearing it curly all week, but it's rainy outside, so that's a no. And, you know, putting on my little athleisure wear. We're going to try a new thing with our 
content where you're trying new cat cut transitions. So I am bringing a change of clothes. This is just a little dress from J Lux label. It's got some rush. It's rushed on the side. So I'll be changing into that for our transition. But I'm excited because I need a facial. I haven't had a facial since I had my baby, and he's almost two years old now. And I used to be a facial goer, okay? I was a regular customer. Shout out to Jada. She was doing my facial and she's amazing. I'll tag her in the description. But yes, today we're going to the Elaine Sterling Institute. It's located in Lenox Mall. I've never been to the Elaine Sterling Institute before, so I'm so excited. I know they offer a ton of services. So let's go see if it's gonna be my new home. My eyes are so tired. I stayed up late last night, y'all. I'm off work today, so I stayed up watching Netflix. And now I'm looking tired. But you know I got a... My Good Molecules eye cream. And hopefully in the next hour or so, it'll perk up. But it probably looks like that because I got no lashes on. And y'all know. I don't go nowhere without lashes, but today I am because my appointment is not until next week, but that's because I'm on my honeymoon and it ain't no way I'm about to go get lashes, then get a facial, that just don't work. Mm, they'll be on the floor. The Elaine Sterling Institute is located inside the Lenox Mall and they hired Amber and I to come and create some influencer content for them to promote their service and offerings to the general public. So if you've never been to a beauty school, students are here to learn and move on from the beauty school to open up their own salons or work in someone else's salon. So you can get so many services here at a discounted rate because they're students, they're learning. This is a great option for someone who's young or someone who doesn't have a lot of money to spend but still want to have self-care days. You can get facials, makeup, hair, nails, mani-pedi, everything, acrylics for a discounted price. I received a basic facial with extractions around my nose and chin because that's where I'm the most oily and she really did a good job. My skin has been doing well recently anyway so there wasn't really much for her to work on but she gave me a good foot massage that came with it. Check out the Elaine Sterling Institute if you are looking to pamper yourself at a discounted rate. Oh skin is looking good. Okay, let's stop for the brown No makeup, no yeah, lashes, look at it. no nothing. <laughs> this is the side of Elaine Sterling where you can get your nails done and also your hair. They offer a lot of products that you can purchase. These are some pretty high end products. Isn't it beautiful in here? Everyone was super nice and accommodating to us. We did experience a few hiccups with our reservation, but the team was more than happy to accommodate us and make sure we had everything that we needed to get the content that we came for. We got manicures, pedicures. As I mentioned, this is the salon side where you can get your hair done. The facials are done on the spa side. But these ladies who you see working in here are working to get their cosmetology license. Here are some of the prices. Didn't I tell y'all this was affordable? Didn't I say it was for the low low? These students are working hard to get their licenses. So not only are you supporting them by visiting ESI, you are allowing them to master and practice on their craft. So now that we are done looking all cute and natural and whatnot, we are headed inside the mall to get us some food child because we hungry the ladies at esi recommended this place called and cheese which is gourmet grilled cheese i love me some cheese so here we are this is the lennox mall if you've never been to atlanta the lennox mall is huge it's three floors every store you can think of is in here along with some high-end stores that are located on the main level Getting our eat on, okay? And et and cheese almost. Yeah. <laughs> Blub that up, but oh, yeah. getting our eat on. We about to eat because we've been doing 
influencer things all day and I didn't eat breakfast. I know Amber didn't eat breakfast. Me either and we hungry so I gotta do this and I gotta go pick up my child. What's interesting is all the grilled cheese are named after a location in Atlanta, like Emmon Park, the Beltline, the Peach Tree. Don't quote me on these names, but check them out for yourself. Our grilled cheese were really good. Be sure to check them out if you're ever in Lenox and get a craving. Back in the bathroom and you know what that means. I'm getting ready to go somewhere. It is date night. My husband is taking Lil Boo to his grandmother's house. And we are going to go see Colin Jost and Michael Che. We love SNL. And they're coming to the Fox Theater in Atlanta. So we're gonna put our clothes on. We are going to go and see these comedians. It's gonna be so fun. And then after that, we're gonna go to MCK. So when we have date night, things get a little crazy because we have a two year old and you know, date night is few and far in between. So look, sometimes when we go, I be forgetting to film y'all. I get to having a cocktail or two and I forget. I don't be thinking about, let me grab my phone. So I'm gonna do my best to try and remember to record our moments tonight. I can't take my phone inside the theater, of course, but I'll see if I can remember to do everything makeup done. I gotta put my clothes on and touch up my hair. Husband is on the way back. How did I do? Now, I'm supposed to be charging my phone, but instead I'm showing y'all what I'm wearing. I feel like I want to be a little bit more dressed up, but I don't know what my husband's wearing. When I asked him, he was like, oh, I'm not dressing up. So I'm like, ugh. Well, what can I do? Fun on the top and plain on the bottom? I don't know. I think this is a very plain outfit. But when he gets home, once I see what he's wearing, I might change my mind. I don't know. But this is it for now. New outfit possibly coming soon. So yes, I ended up changing clothes. I changed my top and my husband claimed he wasn't going to be dressed up, but he's still looking fine. Okay, look at him over there in the driver's seat looking cute. Hey, baby. Our birthdays are really close, so we always do something super special in the month of October and September because our birthdays are literally a month apart. Are you video? Yes. <laughs> We hit up MCK after the show and it was really good. Check them out if you're ever in Atlanta. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time.